climb is for a lieutenant who was possibly promoted. David Fontana, squad one. Brooklyn, the only one. This is his. 343 commitment they climb to 110 floors. Going all the way to the top. I'm on my 48 hour shift right now at fire. And uh, I'm probably only going to get three climbs in total for this shift. Because on the 20th, I will be in Miami. And uh, I don't want to burn my legs before I go compete out there. So. Whether I take one or three or five, all that matters is they're going up. So this is for Brother Lieutenant David Montana, Squad One, first vertical. Here we go, first vertical. Thank you, Jason. It is so far. So David Fontana left behind his wife Marion and son Aiden on 9-11-2001. Oh, I know that, Chris. I'm gonna tone it down when I get to March also to make sure I'm good for Seattle and World Trade 4 because that's a hot one on my list to climb that again. This one coming up. Thank you, Linda. This one coming up is uh, Miami for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And it's 47 floors, which I'm hoping to be able to make in under 20 minutes. So. This climb, like I said before, is for Lieutenant David Fontana, squad one out of Brooklyn. The only one. If I was closer, Christine, I would do that one also. I can say though, I was part of the first climb with Freedom Tower. So, I've got that memory and that's how we're going to leave right here. So this is the 110 for Lieutenant David Fontana, squad one. As I said before, he left his wife, Marion, and his son, Aiden, behind. This is so he is never forgotten, and his legacy carries forward. He was uh, known as a renaissance man there at squad one because he was artistically trained in the college. He made several wooden sculptures 
of St. Florian and a bar punter, which from my understanding are still at squad one. And uh, one of the things I found very interesting, he was very much into history and looked into World War One and World War Two to find out which firefighters from New York Fire Department were killed. And he worked on having plaques made in their honor there at stations throughout FDNY. So here comes the second vertical. This is the second vertical now from Lieutenant David Botana, Squad 1. This is to pay honor and respect to our brothers and the sacrifice made on 9-11 so that others could live. This is his hunter tent, finishing his footsteps, carrying him all the way to the top. So his wife, Marion, and his son, Aiden, will know that their husband and father will never be forgotten. a way of keeping our brothers alive. Their story carrying forth. One thing that uh, was also said was Lieutenant Fontana was very active in the Boy Scouts. And uh, loved his family time with his wife and son. his wife Mary. And they chose 9-11 when they got married because it's the number that uh, you call in an emergency. It had symbolic meaning to David and Marion because of that. So they made sure that they were married on 9-11. And like I said, it would have been their 8th anniversary on 9-11-2001. Another funny that I found, he uh, was a comedian to a certain point. It says that he was wrestling with his son Aiden when he was really young and uh, his wife asked what happened and David Fontana, the lieutenant, pointed at his son and said, he started, he started it. This is to keep and honor his memory for a lieutenant 
They paid the ultimate sacrifice so that others could learn. Our brothers responded and upon arrival went directly to action. Started climbing the stairwells of the World Trade Center towers in an effort to save as many as they possibly could. Not knowing what was going to happen. But that did not stop our brothers from saving upwards of 25,000 with the heroic and brave efforts involved. This is to never forget, to keep our commitment, as what we have said, we will never forget. So many people want to right now, but we made a strong commitment that we would keep our brothers in our hearts and minds and keep their legacies alive so they wouldn't just become a name on a plaque or a memorial or a picture on a wall. Each story is carried. Each story is brought forth so that everyone will know what our brothers' lives were. And we can celebrate their life and their service to the citizens. We will not forget. trained and uh, utilized to rescue their own for chemical incidents and things like that. This is the same squad one that Steven Siller was part of. The same squad one that lost 12 brothers in action on 9-11-2001. We cannot forget our brothers who have gone before us. We must always remember the sacrifice made so that others could live. For his wife Marion and his son Aiden, their husband and father, will never be forgotten. This is our commitment to never forget their honor. Hearts, our minds, and I wrote the 243 on my right arm. Fourth vertical now for Lieutenant David Fontana, squad one out of Brooklyn. Like I said before, David, Lieutenant Fontana, and his wife Marion got married on 9 11. Again, it had a very large significance because those were the numbers representing the emergency call, 911. It 
would have been there eight years together on 9-11-2000 once before what happened but the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil where our brothers paid the ultimate sacrifice so that others could live this is something that we just have to understand Our brothers went into those towers and saved absolute strangers. Nobody knew who the people were. The biggest thing was they had a job to do to rescue those down those stairs. Our brothers did just that. Reference of 25,000 were saved because of heroic, valiant efforts of those respondents. Hey, Dad. Love you, too. steps of those who went before us, the 343 fallen, we take each and every single one to the top, everybody accounted for, no one left behind, this is the first climb of this tour, and it's probably going to finish off with around three climbs total because I'll be going to Miami to do the first ever inaugural 47 floor stair climb benefiting Leukemia and Lymphoma. We climb the stairs for multiples of reasons. Right now, it's for Lieutenant David Montana in Miami. It'll be so that others can have a chance at beating a disease that kills so many between leukemia and lymphoma. This is how we do it. For Lieutenant David Fontana, squad one, carrying it to the top right now. This 
this is. The 343 cannot climb. For Lieutenant Dave Fontana. Squad one. Not a Brooklyn. Also known as the only one. The same squad as Steven Siller. And so many before. We will not forget the sacrifices made. Two verticals now. This one is for Lieutenant Dave Fontana. Squad one. Another thing I found out interesting was that uh, Lieutenant Fontana, when he was younger, was a lifeguard and he enjoyed surfing. And from what I read, his son tried surfing, which was following in his father's footsteps. One thing I also read was that the son of Aiden, after 9-11, would walk around asking others if they knew his dad, Dave Fontana. And then he would say that he loved his dad. These are the reasons we can't forget. The family's left behind, the brother's left behind. This is why we continue to climb. This is why we take our brothers to the top of the tower. To honor the memories, their legacies and let their families know they will never be forgotten. They don't have to worry about them just becoming a picture or a name. Each legacy is brought forth. Every story is told. Here is now the second to last vertical of Time for Lieutenant David Montana. This climb is dedicated to the FDNY, those often on the line, the Brooklyn Squad 1, the only one, and then his wife left behind Marion and son Aiden. My brother, your husband, and your father will never be forgotten. We will carry them forth for weeks and months and years. They will always be remembered for who they were and the legacy left behind. This is the 343 commitment. Now the 106th climb of the 343. And right now, working towards that fifth milestone of 125 brothers carried vertical before going to New York City and climbing World Trade Center 4. That will also equal the over 300,000 stair marks upon completion of the fifth milestone. And little by little, each ship, we're getting closer and closer. So, 
This climb is for Lieutenant David Fontana, Squad 1 out of Brooklyn, nicknamed the only one. This is his 110 floors, going all the way to the top of the tower. Upon completion of the next vertical, Lieutenant Fontana has been taken up to the 101st or 102nd floor. This is his completion of his footsteps. The first climb of this 48 hours, the 106th of 343. Another brother being honored. Right now, this Lieutenant David Fontana, Squad 1, to honor his service and to the FDNY. His artistry, his love of history, to which he found out the wars that his brothers passed on in World War One and World War Two, in which he could honor them. To his wife and son, Marion and Aiden, left behind. Your father, husband, and our brother will never be forgotten. And now, we are on the last vertical from Lieutenant David Fontana. Squad 1. This is Getting him to the final floors of the tower. Pushing it all the way to the top. This climb's a little bit tougher this time because I rode 2,000 meters during morning PT. And, uh, the legs are one a little bit more push to get up to the top of the tower. This is to always remember and never forget the sacrifice made by 343 brothers so that others could live. They paid the ultimate sacrifice, which upwards of 25,000 were saved. This is a 343 commitment climb for Lieutenant David Montana. Squad one. So now we're right at. second floor for posthumous promoted Lieutenant David Fontana. This is his completion of his last steps. Last floors. 
go into that symbolic 110. Today is a new day. The 15th of January. The month's almost over. It's hard to believe. I'll be boarding a plane on the 20th to go to Miami and climb 47 floors on air, full gear, and an effort to raise funds for those fighting leukemia and lymphoma. It was our first climb it's ever been done in Miami. And uh, I'm blessed to take part in it. I'm hoping to finish the 47 floors in around 20 minutes. It's a little bit different when you actually get in the stairwell and uh, start climbing on air than what you would have outside just being on a stair climber. So, get involved, do what you can, make a difference. Remember, your life starts, there's a dash, and at some point, you gotta find what's gonna go in between holding that dash before you get to the end make a difference and live life to its fullest. This is the first climb of this time frame that I'm on shift, 48 hours. I'm hoping to be able to finish two more before the last climb before I come back to uh, go to Miami. This is and has been my honor. Climbing for posthumously promoted Lieutenant David Fontana, Squad One. It's easy, brother. We better from here.